Okay, hi everyone. Uh, we're doing a uh, we're we're making a pesto. Hindi pesto. It's not a pesto na para sa pasta, but it's pisto, p i s t o. Um, it's a Spanish uh, typical uh, it's a typical Spanish dish. Um, it's um, either eaten with, uh, should be eaten with um, fried egg or boiled egg or, or chicken with uh, breadcrumbs or chicken a la, a la plancha. So in Spanish, uh, ano siya, para siyang, uh, parang uh, ulam. Side dish slash side dish. ulam. Parang sinasa, ano nila, parang pag ito ang ulam nila, parang plato unico, ibig sabihin, in, in a one plate na with everything in it. But as a Filipino, you can eat it with rice. Kasi ako ay ate it with rice. Of course. Rice. Kasi since sa Spanish, meron siyang cubes na fries. So you can eat it with rice instead. Okay. So the ingredients are, are? Um, we have here a one big uh, chopped um, onion, two cloves, cloves. of uh, garlic, Dapat buo siya. Then. And then, <clears throat> we have, um, we have <laughs> pepper. Yeah. So, the original recipe is the Italian pepper. You know, yun, the long one, the long one. It's two medium, two medium Italian pepper. But we, since we don't have it, uh, we are using a tira, -tira. Yeah. <laughs> leftover. <laughs> so we have the green and the red and it's okay to to uh, to play with the with the ingredients. <laughs> and we have uh, a kilo of zucchini in Spanish a kilo of um calabacin, calabacin. or crochet. Mm -hmm. In Tagalog hindi ko alam parang upo yata. Upo yan. slash upo. Uh, a kilo of uh, fresh tomato. Fresh tomatoes in UK. So yeah, it's about tomato. Uh, in Spanish, uh, uh, tomate. Tomate. <laughs> and a kilo of uh, and of course all the ingredients you, you need to chop it in small cubes. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, they're all uh, in uniform. In uniform cut. because uh, I like it that way. And this is a kilo of berenjena in Spanish and English. It is. Um, aubergine, aubergine, or eggplant. So American English, it is eggplant. <laughs> and of course, the first step that I'm going to do is since we already chop everything, so now we're going to start cooking. First, in a in a pot medium, or in a bowl, med medium high pot. I need to put. We need to put. Um, how like, many teaspoons or tablespoons? I think like this is um tancha tancha. Yeah, but most probably five tablespoon because here in Spain they're using olive oil, and the pisto the more oil it has that the more tastier. So it should be, it should have it should need it needs a lot of oil. And then, and then we are going to. Put the onion first. So the onion to make the onion it will take like 15, 10 to 15 minutes so that the onion will be like crystal clear before starting with the vegetables. So put your the, the temperature it should be a medium high. And then, ako I usually cover it with a lid so that it will, it will make faster. So like in 10 to 15 minutes, you're going, uh, 10 to 15 minutes it will be ready. But uh, every like 2 or 3 minutes you keep on, keep on eye and keep on checking and, and stirring it so that it will not be burnt. And by the way, we're doing this vlog. We're ma I'm making this dish because of re the request ni, ni Tita Elsa. Uh, she asked us, yeah, she asked me how to make the, the pisto. So now Tita Elsa, you must watch this and you must learn how to do the, to do this pisto so that you can make it at all. See you later.
Now it's already 15 minutes. Well, then yeah, about 15 minutes. As you can see, the onion, they are already cooked. And now it's time to put the... How about the garlic? No, it's later. It's the last one. Ah. Okay, it's time to put the... Berenjena. Eh, aubergine. Eggplant. Talo. Just give it a stir. Medium heat, remember. And of all, every vegetables, because every vegetables we need to. After ten minutes, another vegetables, no naman. So every time I put vegetables, I usually put like half of teaspoon. Is this teaspoon? Yeah. Half, no. half of teaspoon of. Of salt, and you have just to just stir it nicely and evenly, and cover it. See you again. See you in ten minutes. After ten minutes, this is how it look like. The next vegetable that we need to put is the. I forgot it's in my mouth, it's in my head, the other term. The capsicum. Ah, yeah, capsicum. So we have a lot of name in this one. So again, or let, just let, let's say a pinch, a, a small pinch of salt. Every time I put vegetables, I put a very tiny pinch of salt. Salt bay. <laughs> And then and you cover it again and wait 10 minutes again. Okay, so, ow! so you can let it 10 minutes. The next uh, vegetable that we, we are going to put is the calabacin zucchini. And a bit of salt. So, again, a pinch of salt. And give it a nice stir, and then isn't it lovely? The color, yeah, yeah. The origin is so translucent. Remember to always cover it. So we need to cover it again and cover it for 10 minutes wow so after 10 minutes <clears throat> so we're yeah, going to put yeah. what happened we're, we're going to put everything now Last the tomato. Wow. The color is so vibrant. The tomato and then now is the time that we're going to put the <coughs> garlic. <coughs> and a bit of tomato sauce. Then mix, mix, mix. Yeah. You forget the salt, salt, salt. Yes. And can you see how beautiful the color is? How beautiful, how nice we cut it.
The salt is just depending on your taste. Yes. Calculate. Oh. Pancha, pancha in Tagalog. <laughs> so we're going to cover it again for 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes we're going to check it again okay ito na siya after 10 minutes as you can see they are all cooked well because typically kasi dito sa Spain gusto gusto nila yung lutong luto yung gulay Pilipinas, lasog na lasog na latang lata na siya. So as you can see, na lumalabas yung ano, mga liquids ng vegetables. Actually, this is already ready. But, ako, I wanted it to, to, ano, to reduce some of the liquid. Kasi na sobrang daming liquid niya. Gusto ko yung medyo parang sticky siya. So, what I, what I usually do is, I leave it uncovered. So, walang cover. So, that the water will going to evaporate. Eh, evaporate. So, in a me, uh, medium heat, so, more or less 5 to 10 minutes, sahayaan ko siya na nakabukas para matanggal yung kanyang liquid. And of course, you have to to check the salt. And voila! Pisto is ready. Okay. Yeah. So there it is. After 10 minutes, <clears throat> medyo konti na yung sabaw niya. Depende lang sa inyo. If you want it to be more dry, just simmer again for couple of minutes without lid so that the water will be uh, evaporated. Will evaporate. And yeah, this is it. This is our finished product. So, in a few minutes, we're going to taste it. We served out. And that's the pesto. Mm. Anong partner niyan? <laughs> Partner with rice because we're Filipinos and chicken empanada. Chicken with breadcrumbs. Chicken with breadcrumbs. Yeah. Yeah, and that's our princess having her dinner. Say hi, Madlang Pips. Okay. And that's. Our dinner, and that's the wrap.